In this lesson, I want to talk uh, real quickly about IntelliJ's decompiler. So you saw that when we created our very first application, the Hello World application, we wrote human-readable Java code. All it did was print out the words Hello World, but it was still human-readable Java code. We went to the command line and we compiled our Hello World Java app, and it basically created a class file for us, which was the Java bytecode. Now, I don't know if you've ever looked at Java bytecode, but that is not human readable. So if we open up this, and I say other, let's go ahead and open this up in some kind of text edit here. Let's say sublime. You're just gonna see some bytecode here. This really means nothing to us, right? So this is the same file that we're working with in our Hello World application here. And that's under the target directory, so we know when we compile it in IntelliJ, it'll actually output it here to the target, classes, com, and then here's our package. And then, so it's just called app.class. So when we open this with just a normal text editor, we're looking at the actual Java bytecode. So now IntelliJ has a way to kind of help us with this. If we open a class file in IntelliJ, it's using what's called a decompiler. It's decompiling the compiled code and turning it into what it thinks that Java code looks like. So let's go ahead and click on that. So again, we can see up here that source code is recreated from a class file. It's not quite exact, you know, it's not gonna be word, line for line or character for character, but based on what it's looking at in the class code, it's going to generate a human readable Java code for us. Now, for this, it doesn't really matter because we have the source code for this application, so that's not a huge advantage. But sometimes you're going to get libraries, and maybe there isn't really good documentation on those class files, and you need to jump into the source code and see exactly what it's doing. This is just something that the de decompiler will give you an advantage on, and really kind of looking at the actual Java code and trying to find out exactly what that one method might be doing. So I just wanted to show this to you. If you open a class file in IntelliJ, whether it's in this project or in another project, it is going to open up the human readable, what it thinks that Java code is. So that's the de decompiler in IntelliJ. And with that, let's go ahead and move on.